Right, here I am. Yeah, you'll never guess what bike I'm on. No, uh, look at this. BMW 1965 R60 2. Oh, it's just wonderful. What a delight to ride. So laid back and easy. Um, I've just been and filled it up uh, because you can't fill it up uh, the BP at Haywards because they don't have the really good stuff. Yeah, but this <laughs> um, it's just a delight. Uh, obviously, we're in a 30. Oh, we're, no, we're in a 40. So we can go on a little bit. Um, obviously, this has just been recommissioned so uh, I'll take it steady owned by Tim my mate Tim yeah who is going to be doing the uh, DGR on this wonderful yeah and I mean it is such a delight uh, I mean it's virtually on tick over if there, if there was a rev counter um, at 40 which is the speed limit here do I know anything about it? No. But have I prepared for that? Yes, I have. I've got Jerry back at Hayward. So when I get back to Hayward, we'll hear from Jerry and he can tell us all about it because I know absolutely nothing. Oh, I've got my left my indicator on, but you lot couldn't see it. No, because they're at the end of the bars. Yeah. The brakes, you have to send a telegram to say that you want to stop yeah but it handles just lovely and the suspension is just lovely um, the seat is really well sprung um, I've got a car up my jack seat but I'm not in no rush because I am riding this old lady yeah that sounds really wrong I know that and there'll be a lot of you jump on that yeah it will be like the Duke of Hazards all over again but what I intend to do is do the short circuit I'm not going to go off anywhere extra I shall go straight down here and we'll do the Cambridgeshire Road yeah Oh, Cambridge Road on this with a springy sea should be a delight. There we go. Oh, just cruising at uh, 50. Just marvellous. Uh, it's not wayward, it's not wobbling. 1965 BMW. And it's like a dream. Yeah. Oh, the, when I put think of all the things I've ridden. There's the Norton Commando, there's the Triumph Trident, the, obviously the old one, and now there's this, and it's just wonderful. Uh, you can't buy experiences like this. The sun is out, yes it's blowing a game, but this old girl, she doesn't move. No, she's not moving for anybody. Not, certainly not a, a bit of a breeze like this. absolutely wonderful I'm speechless to tell you the truth uh, I guess we could do um, the rundown yeah we've got a round clock speedo with the miles on it um, built into the headlamp I like that I like that a lot they should do that a bit more with modern bikes um, We've got, now I don't know what to call these mirrors. I can't call them bar end mirrors, can I? They're just off headlamp mirrors. That's about all I can say. We've got indicators that are on the end of the handlebars. Yeah, brilliant. Um, oh, we've got that wonderful, uh, I presume 600 cc's, R60, might be a 500, I don't know. Um, because they did some strange things back in the day yeah like calling calling the 
uh, Honda 350, a CB77 or something like that. So it, I don't know, but we'll find out off stand. We've got lots and lots of chrome on it. We've got sprung seats front and back and wait till you see it. Um, and down this bumpy road, you know, I'm always going on at you about how bumpy these roads are down here. Well, it's just a joy on this soul girl. Yeah, <laughs> you just bounce up and down on the sea. Very comfy. Um, the clutch, light as a feather for its age, you know, it's easy. Gearbox, like a Triumph gearbox, a bit clunky. But again, she's an old girl. I've got no traffic behind, so I'm laughing. Aha. <laughs> um, plenty of power there. I'm not going crazy. I don't know whether it needs running in or not. I forgot to ask any of that question. But it, it's. I wouldn't trash something like this. This is about enjoying the ride. Oh, speed bump. Indicator on. Indicator there on the throttle side which is a bit odd yeah because if you think about it you're trying to do your throttle and switch your indicator on and off <laughs> I know <laughs> um, bit of a flaw but then Honda went and put the cruise control on your throttle hand didn't they <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, we've got crash bars of course it has it's a BMW oh yeah nice and bouncy down this road dead comfy bike doesn't get out of shape though uh, what else have we got I don't know about the brake horsepower or anything like that it's going to be about 40 isn't it I would think so maybe more it feels really pokey when you twist the throttle and at the moment I'm just sitting on the throttle because it's just marvellous starting kickstart only yeah of course it would be wouldn't it um, but it is absolutely marvellous. I'm riding through the Cambridgeshire countryside down this old battered old road on this beautiful old girl. Yeah, absolutely lovely. It's like a dream. Oh, um, I suppose uh, I could stop for the comb, but I won't. Uh, because I'm already late and I need to get back um, yeah uh, so let's get on to the census test um, what does it taste like well lots of people would be saying um, I guess sauerkraut or something like that but I don't think so I think this would be a uh, Black Forest Gatto, definitely. Yeah. Um, rich, definitely rich. Uh, and lasts a long time, yeah, a lot of it. It's a big chunk of metal, that is for sure. Uh, I'm having to think an awful lot more because I'm planning ahead for speed and everything but I like that I like that that it keeps me entertained while I'm going along <laughs> it's just lovely um, yeah so the senses uh, Black Forest Gatto uh, some people will come up with all sorts of different things I reckon but it just sounds wonderful um, smell well is there a smell of anything? A smell of warm metal? Perhaps a little tinge of fuel? I've probably got the choke on a bit. Um, don't think so. Maybe, but I have just filled up with petrol. Um, but again, it is, what, 40... Ah, uh, coming up to 60 years old. <laughs> and it's smooth as silk. Absolutely smooth as silk. Oh, Timmy's going to enjoy this. He hasn't ridden it yet himself. No? <laughs> How marvellous is that? Um, 
uh, to look at what does it look like it looks like a 1965 BMW that's what it looks like yeah it looks classic it looks built to last it looks like you could go forever looks like it should be in a movie um, and he rescued it from a museum yeah and bikes shouldn't be in museums they should be being ridden and this one is going to get ridden now how wonderful is that um, to touch and feel quality German engineering at its best yeah marvellous Uh, yeah, German engineering at its best. I mean, no one can argue with the quality of this. It's 60 years old and it still looks like new. Wonderful. And then the sound. The sound is absolutely fantastic. Uh, when it's on takeover, when it's cold, it's even better. Um, I mean, the handling is just sweet as a nut. Jerry has done wonders recommissioning this, I can tell you. Yeah, just marvellous. Um, and then, the Sixth Sense. Oh, I wonder if they're all right. Don't know what's up with them. I can't stop, I'm on an old bike. Sorry, I would. Um, it looked as though he was all right. He sort of waved. I hope he wasn't waving me down. Yeah, six ends. Uh, how does it make me feel? It makes me feel privileged. Um, it makes me feel very happy. It makes me feel cool. Oh, it's just wonderful. Um, Timmy's going to have a fantastic summer with this bike. Then into top and it's just cruising at 50 miles an hour oh we're in a 40 though so that's a problem isn't it so let's get down a little bit there we go um, that's better uh, yeah that's how it makes me feel um, but I'm going to take it back but we are going to find out a lot of information about it when I find Jerry oh what a stunning afternoon I have had with this bike it's just I feel like I should be in an old film I do yeah it's just wonderful um, I mean just listen to that it's smooth it's, uh, it's just rolling message to brakes there we go we're off again <laughs> I love it I absolutely love it yeah uh oh and here we are yeah indicator on wait till you see the indicators at the back marvellous There we go. <laughs> so let me park it somewhere where we can talk to Jerry. We'll park it over here. Oh, where's he going with that one though? We'll go here. We'll park it here, just like that. There we go, uh, and side stand is down here somewhere, and there we go, oh and it doesn't go very over very far, I don't like that, that's better. And I mean, just listen to that, I mean what do you think? just wonderful I feel as though I've been abandoned but there you go just have a look at that what do you reckon 
BMW R62 1965. Jerry, I need your experience. Let me just change my camera. Go for it. Right, here it is. Um, BMW 1965 R60 slash 2. Yeah, just wonderful. Know nothing about it, but I'm lucky enough to be with a man who does. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry, just come into the come into shot. Yeah. So you've recommissioned this. I I what's the horsepower on it? 30 horsepower. 30 horsepower. 30 horsepower. Yeah. It it's not a lot for a big heavy bike, is it? It's not, but then they weren't built for speed. It's got sidecar lugs on the frame. Originally they would probably have used them more with a sidecar than solo. Yeah, I could see it with a sidecar. I bet it pulls a bit. Um, well, I know it does from, from riding it. Um, do you know what the top speed is? Well, they claim 89 miles an hour. 89? I didn't do it. I, I got to about 50, but you've ridden it as well. Uh, last time I uh, I rode it last week, Paul, before some more carburetor work we did on it, and I did get it up to 65 miles an hour. 65? It, it, I can't believe it. There was a bit more, but... It's running nicer now with the new the carburetor road. So if you took it out again, you might squeeze a bit more you out might, of it. You might squeeze a bit more. Yeah, there. yeah. So this suspension malarkey, what's going on there? Right, well that's called an Earl's fork type of suspension. Yeah. And again, very prevalent on sidecar outfits. Yeah. Now there are several advantages to it. It's cheaper to manufacture than telescopic forks. Right. It's easier to repair because you just replace the shock absorbers. Yeah. But the big advantage is you can throw the bike into a corner or a roundabout, pull hard on the front brake and the front doesn't dive. Yeah. No, it was very smooth. Forks. It was very smooth. Um, uh, what else have we had to do? <coughs> um, the neutral light wasn't working. When, when we got it in, uh, it hadn't been run. The petrol tank was full of rust, so we had the tank professionally cleaned and sealed. Uh, we stripped and rebuilt the carburetors, um, fixed the neutral light issue. Uh, the front brake was very poorly set up. It didn't work at all. So we've had the wheel out, we checked all the shoes. We've readjusted the twin leading shoes. So it now works as best as it can work. I mean, they're not modern brakes, no. but they're what they were of period, you know? Yeah. Um, we had an annoying um, fuel leak on the top of the right-hand carburetor. Yeah. And at some point, somebody who's done a weld repair on the inside of the carburetor here oh, and cranky. walked to the ceiling surface. Yeah. And I, I took that top home, put it on my lathe, put a marker up against it, spun it, and it was a millimetre out of true. Yeah. So I machined the surface back, back again to get it flat, and I've put three gaskets under it to compensate for the height difference yeah. to bring it back up to the correct height. Now before, it was just leaking fuel yeah, out the there all the time. But as you can see, it's all nice and dry uh, on the yeah, top of that bottom yeah, now. Yeah, and so, I, give it a, I give it a good go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did. Um, the other thing, what I like about it, the indicators. Oh, there are no rear indicators they? yeah. because they're here. Yeah, they're on the right. handlebars both they're, ways. They're dual directional, front yeah. and rear. Same uh, as on my MZ. Is that is that right? My little MZ's got them as well. They're not as pretty as these. They're white plastic on my MZ. Yeah. My MZ's also got the Earl's type forks. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Um, steering damper. I didn't touch the steering damper. Didn't need to. It just feels dead. Firm. Yeah, no, we've got that set about right, and and you would again, you'd pull that down if you had an outfit on it. Yeah, yeah to, so stop, to stop the, it, stop yeah. the stop the stop the We did just have to um, slacken off the steering head bearings when it was assembled. When it was restored, someone had over tightened the bearings. Yeah. So we've slackened those oh, back yeah. off just to get it so it moves nicely on those yeah. bearings. Yeah. Um, the seat, I've got to say, I mean, because that Cambridgeshire Road. It's horrendous. It's awful, isn't it? But on here, it's fun. Yeah. It's just do, do, yeah. do. Yeah. Now, have you seen, though, extra comfort for the passenger? That's it. I know. They've actually got a spring on there. I know. That's just incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, and the kickstart comes out sideways that yeah. way. There's yeah. a little bit of a knack to that, but I think once you get the knack, uh, and and um, Tim started it the other day, and he found it easier to start standing on the pegs. Yeah, he he said I had no trouble at the petrol station. Yeah. 
on the side stand. Mm. Now the side stand is a different kettle of fish because it's a bugger to get to. Yes. When you're on the bike. Yeah. And, and what's it's, this you doing? Can't see it. Oh, that's just air bubbles coming up. Okay. From the float bowl. Yeah. Um, but if you come around this side, Paul, yeah. you see what I mean about the sidecar fittings. That's a yeah. side, a big lug for a sidecar. Oh, side so they had the sidecar yeah. on this yeah. side, of course yeah. they did. Yeah. Yeah. And this would have been another sidecar fitting here. Yeah. But that one's just got a rubber bung in it. But, uh, and it's got blitz. <laughs> what? Another, another sidecar fitting, yeah. but yeah, yeah. It's got a blitz battery. A blitz battery on yeah. a... German motorcycle. <laughs> that's not that's not very PC. But it's absolutely wonderful. And of course the rack just drops down, put your tent on there. Yeah. It's just a wonderful and you've done a wonderful job recommissioning it, I've got to say. Hasn't it got a gorgeous towel on? Oh you yeah. Just I just love that. Uh, towel I do, on. I love those. I'm always yeah. going on about those with the Royal Enfields because mm. they have a nice it's, bulbous it's Very tail. reminiscent of the um, this is a Heller, which is the original German one. Yeah. Very reminiscent of the CEV ones on the Ducati singles, the early Ducati singles. Yeah. Which I think they're just a beautiful size. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, Jerry, you've done a wonderful job. Tim's done a wonderful job rescuing it. And I've had an absolute wonderful afternoon on it. It's just my... I love the mirrors as well. Yeah, they're great, I mean, aren't they? What do you call them? Headlamp mirrors? <laughs> Well, I mean, well, I, I you know they're what? not bar end, are they? No, they're not bar end. No, I don't know what I'd call those. Yeah, but they work. They do, yeah, <laughs> they do. Yeah? yeah, marvellous. Thanks ever so much, Jerry. And that's it for the BMW R60 uh, slash 2. Just a wonderful piece of history saved from a museum. Excellent. Excellent.